Hey guys, um, I forgot to do an intro, so uh, today I'm going to be talking about um, two things. First, uh, why, I, why I do not uh, believe that Labour actually has a good policy, and second, why I'm so voting Conservative. So, um, I guess uh, sit back, sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Now, of course, every election, um, you know, every general election, you are electing your local MP, right? Fundamentally, that is what you are doing, right? But... Of course, you have to remember that your local MP sits in Parliament and whichever whichever party has the most seats in Parliament, they get to form the government and blah, blah, blah. No, right? So, here's a question. Is he our new Prime Minister? Right? Now, I am, you know, I am a card-carrying card Conservative, right? And I believe in the Conservative Party, um, and I will explain more in a bit, but... Here are his. Here are so Keir Starmer. Uh, the fact that the, the fact that the Labour Party is led by a knight is um, is insane. But the first steps for economic change, and for change, as outlined here in the back of this election leaflet, just here. So we have number one: deliver economic stability. Now we're now we yet to hear any details about how he's going to do that. But he's going to deliver economic stability, somehow. Cut NHS waiting times. Okay, fair dues. Um, presumably by hiring more doctors, uh, which, you know, uh, generally the way to get the way to get people in uh, quickly uh, if you have a gap um, in an industry, which obviously, you know, healthcare, there is a gap, is to uh, bring them in from other countries. But, of course, Labour want to reduce my grip want to reduce migration. So that's gonna be a difficult one. Also there's the industrial action which you know doesn't help and whilst obviously you know I support uh, the right to strike it is very important. Um you know it, it's undeniable that it's having an impact on patients, right? And if junior doctors don't recognise that then frankly should they really be working in medicine, right? But next launch a new border security command. That's his first big plan. That's his first Third uh, step, um, you know, some sort of force to patrol the border. A kind of border force, if you will. That'll be an interest, interesting one. Um, you know, somebody really should, I mean, I, I support that, right? You know, we should have a border force. It definitely helps that we have one. Like, I go past them every time I go to work. Uh, because, um, genuinely, we don't have a cabin crew then. At Manchester Airport because uh, one person was an absolute moron. But um, you know, there's we have to know. You know we we have a border border command. Um, it, it it's it's called Border Force. It's part of the Home Office. It's like a, quite a big big organisation, right? You know, they're, they're, the, they're the people not black, right? Now, number four, set up Great British Energy. Basically, what he's going to do is he's going to nationalise energy now. I wholeheartedly support that, um, but there's one thing that should be ahead of it, and that is nationalising water, right? Pro now, I believe in privatisation, right? I believe that the private sector generally is better at handling things than the public sector, right? But, and this is really important to me, there are some things that should not be in the private sector, and in my view, utilities should never be in the private sector, and water, frankly, should be free and provided as a public service by the government, right? It should not be something that's done for profit, and the fact that um, our rivers and uh, our rivers and seas are basically now um, sewers is, you know, very bad, right? And, of course, we need to hold uh, water companies accountable, and the best way to hold water companies accountable is to nationalise them, which is why it should be, that should be number four there. Um, I mean, also, you know, this is in, like, a... which. This is in like a kind of order of priority uh, sort of uh, thing, which um, it seems like an unusual uh, priority list. But uh, we continue. Uh, crack down on antisocial behaviour. Thus the return of the ASBO, I guess. Um, yeah, crack down on antisocial behaviour. Yeah. Again. Do we have any details about this? No. Um, so, you know... But, Again, it's a question of what do they mean? What sort of government 
are we almost certainly getting if you know on July fifth? Like there's that, and then recruit uh, six thousand five hundred more uh, teachers. I mean, who's going to oppose that? Seriously. So that's labour, right? Now my thoughts are there is simply not enough detail about labour's plans, right? That's problem number one. Problem number two. They seem to have in 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 Kisama's quest to become more moderate, I think he's overshot the runway slightly. And he now is not moderate, he's conservative. Which is not great. And I think the thing that's really important, right, to remember, is that Labour government, right, when they are principled and have clear policies, they're amazing, right? They push Britain forward, right? In 1997, we did not have a minimum wage. We now do, right? You know, the Open University was established by Harold Wilson's government, right? You know, and the NHS, the single greatest institution devised by humanity, that was done under a Labour government, right? When you have a Labour government that is principled and sticks to its principles, it's amazing. This potential government doesn't have that. It's not principled, right? They don't have, they don't seem to have anything equating to a plan, number one. And number two, more importantly, the stuff that they have said, it sounds a lot, it sounds a lot like continuation of the Conservatives. And my view is, if you're going to have Tory, if, you, if you're going to have Tory late, you might as well have proper Tory, right? And that's why, even though I'm not satisfied with how the Conservatives are governing, right? I believe that there are things that we can do better, right? You know, demonising migrants gets us nowhere, right? And we shouldn't be doing it, right? We shouldn't be demonising people who have come here seeking a better life, right? I think, you know, that sort of thing is just not appropriate. But, you know, there are some good policies. There are some good policies there. I believe in national insurance, right? I, 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 I believe in the national service, um, you know, pledge, right? I believe that it is good. Now, Number one, now a couple of things. First, actually, I'm going to do this as a different segment. So, yeah. Welcome to things I like about the Conservatives and why I'm probably still going to vote for them. Right. First, national insurance policy. Uh, the national insurance reduction. Right. I think you know double taxation doesn't help. Right. Doesn't help, and it all goes into the same pot. Right. It's not as if like national insurance just goes straight into the NHS. It goes into the treasury. So it's like income tax. Right, and in my view, it'd be better off to just slightly ra to raise income tax slightly and eliminate national insurance. That would make more sense to me, right? But when it comes, but the second thing that I support is national insurance. Now, TikTok will have you believe that all eighteen-year-olds are going to be shipped off to war, right? Is it? Prime has ever said anything like that, right? There are thirty thousand places in, in the military for um, you know national service people. Right? And you apply for those. That means, by definition, they're volunteers. Right? Okay, they might not have ordinarily considered joining the army, but they have decided to do so. Right? We're talking about, you know, community work for one weekend a month. Right? Now, I understand that there are people, right? You know, I understand people have jobs, right? You know, people have things to be doing, right? But it's not that much to ask, right? Number one. Number two, the people who are saying, well, actually, if you're a union student, you can't do it because you've got uh, student, you know, you've got uh, student jobs. A couple of things. First, when you're at university, you're kind of studying, like, you know, part-time jobs are there to kind of supplement your income whilst you study. Um, you know, they shouldn't be the priority. And two, again, with most student jobs are 10 hours a week, right? You can do that in one day, right? And we're talking about work, we're talking about you know helping your communities, right? It's not that big an ask, right? It really is not that big an ask, right? And also, there's absolutely nothing stopping you from just doing it in one block, right? And just doing a solid month, right? We're basically asking for twenty eight days, right? That's what that's what I'm talking asking for, right? So you know, I, I believe that that's good, right? I believe that you know it does instill uh, value, uh, it does instill values, um, it does instill you know. The value of hard work and community spirit right you know it makes people you know, actually think about the community that they belong to and actually contribute to it right 
The only modification I would make is I would extend that uh, customer service, uh, that, that uh, community service uh, thingy to every adult, right? I would I would take it not just you know focus on the young, but take it to everybody up to uh, everybody up you know until like sixty five, right? Everyone does a bit for their community, you know, a few days a year, right? I don't think that's that much to ask. Many people already do it. Many people can contribute to their community, right? I, I but I think you know I, I think national service is a good idea, right? I also believe in law. I also believe, you know, in lowering immigration, right? Um, you know, I'm pro immigration, right? I believe that we need immigrants, but we need those immigrants to come in and for them to have houses to live in, jobs to work at, and for them to be able to live a better life here than they would back home. That is what we need for immigrants. And, you know, Britain at this point can't provide that. They just can't, right? We haven't got enough housing uh, for the people who are already here. And, uh, you know, in that case, we should not be bringing in 600,000 people a year, right? Next is illegal immigration, right? I think, you know, the boats need to be stopped, right? Because it's dangerous to cross the English Channel on a vessel that would be better suited to a swim pool than, than the open seas is not safe. It's manifestly not safe. And so I, you know, agree with the government that we need deterrent, right? We need deterrents. To make sure that people don't come, right? Is sending them to Rwanda the correct course of action? Possibly not. But nobody else seems to have any kind of plan. And so it does seem better than doing nothing. And it's certainly better than letting them come in and immediately be taken advantage of by people here in the UK, right? And lastly, I, you know, the last reason why I'm voting Conservative is I believe passionately that if you have a government that does not stick by its principles, it is dangerous, Scotland. It is dangerous. And you can say many things about the Conservatives. But the one thing that we, as Conservatives, do not do is we don't bullshit around our principles. I mean, let's be frank, the last Parliament has been a parade of bullshit, but we don't bullshit around our principles. I should also mention uh, one other thing. Um, I live in a safe Labour seat, right? There is absolutely no way on earth that my MP is not going to be that man. There is absolutely no way on planet earth that that is not going to happen, right? But I'm still going to vote anyway, even though um, my vote has no real chance of making an impact. And the reason is because, one, people died uh, People died for, for my right to vote. And I think the, the least I can do, the very least I can do, is go and vote. Right. Second, I will probably be complaining about the Labour government continually. And if I neglect to vote, then frankly, I give up my moral right to criticise the Labour government. Um, and also, lastly, it takes two seconds. It literally is two minutes out of the day. Now, the polling station is about three minute walk that way. Right. Going into a polling station takes two minutes. Right. It... The whole thing done in about 10 minutes, right? From sitting on my bed to sitting back on my bed, right? That is not much to ask. And so even though I know that the majority of people, right, including many who will see this, who many who might see this, right? The majority will be voting for this man to be Prime Minister, right? I have two messages, right, for everyone, right? So, as I was saying, um, when it comes to... Um, people who, who are thinking, you know, people who support Labour or people who support you know, literally any other party, right, who are thinking that this election is a done deal. I have a very important message. One, I have, I have two very important messages. First, vote, right? People, you know, around the world do not have the right to vote. You do. You live in a 
you know, you are in an amazing country that gives you the opportunity to vote, please use it, right? Please use that right, right? Second, if you support Labour, right, and you support your local MP, if you are one of those people who, you know, if, like, we're going to tell you want that guy to be your Member of Parliament, then vote, right? Even even in a safe seat like like here, Wivenshaw, right? Or, you know, if you're Conservative like me and you're in Rich... If you're Conservative like me, right, and you happen to live in a safe Conservative seat like Richmond and North Alton, right, still vote, right? Because an MP that just scrapes in is far less likely to actually follow what you want them to do than one who comes in with a form of majority. And, and, you know, don't think this election is a done deal, right? If you support the Conservatives, yeah, if you, you know, you support Labour and Conservatives, Conservatives, the SCP, a party I didn't even know existed, right? Or even these fuckers, right? Vote, right? Because if you don't vote, you lose your ability and your moral authority to complain about the government. So that's it from that's it from me. Uh, kind of a Chris Hanlon um, election special. Um, of, you know, basically why I'm so good at voting conservatives and why I don't really buy Labour's plans. Um, now you've probably noticed that I've held up these idiots. This came through my door. Um, they're basically saying that this election is all about immigration, which it plainly isn't. Right, it's about the cost of living, right? But. Um, Needless to say, even though I'm right, even though I'm right wing, these fuckers are like the genuinely uh, grifters. Um, I mean, you know, Formula UK is a, you know, it, I mean, it's a company. It's not even a political party. It's a company, right? You know, they're grifters uh, wholeheartedly. Um, the only thing that I would say um, is the people who think that that man is going to be prime minister, he's not. Right, our electoral system doesn't permit that to happen. Right, Keir Starmer's going to be the next prime minister. Um, you know, there are two choices um, when it comes to who's going to be the prime minister. It's going to be Rishi Sunak, uh, who would go down as the greatest uh, political campaigner ever. Right, or more likely Keir Starmer. So, yeah, there's still um, there's no need to worry about these these lots, although. Um, they are quite fun to watch because because he 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 genuinely thinks he's got a chance of winning, right? He might he'll probably win in Clacton, but he genuinely thinks he's got a chance of winning the government. He hasn't. But yeah, but uh, that's it for me. Um, thanks thanks for watching. And um, basically, the last thing to say is uh, see you uh, probably in another five months when I decide to upload again. Um, but uh, if you want me to. Uh, upload a bit sooner then please like comment subscribe and i will possibly find something uh to uh, talk about probably about the u.s election because uh that looks like a lot of fun but yeah uh but also um i have a job right as, as camera crew so if you want me to uh, talk more about about that my experiences um you know being camera crew uh, with reiner uh, if you have any questions about uh, what it's like to be camera crew reiner then please uh, drop them in the comments and I might even make a video about that. But yeah, but until next time, uh, until next time, like, comment, subscribe, and, you know, don't be dicks. See ya.